Welcome to Mediogre Gaming, and today we're playing Destiny 2. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today, the dark side is calling. Let's get to it. Artificial constructs aside, you will need to pick your side, either with the Drifter or with the Vanguard. Now, for this particular video and for myself, I chose the Vanguard. This is tailored specifically for those people. I'll show you where to go. I'll show you where to go in the hangar and the annex for that first part of the quest. And then the last part of the quest, where to pick up those seven tapes. Now, I knew from the get-go that this was unlikely to lead into the Thorn quest, although I was hopeful. And after you do this quest, you will see that you get a hint towards getting the Thorn quest and where to go. Anyway, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to ring the bell before you leave to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Chasing myths and turning you into one. As my new partner, a couple things about me you should know. I've been pitting a lot of very bad people against some good ones. Could end up being trouble for the city. And there's already been some collateral damage. In a hand of my heart, I regret anyone who takes a dirt nap on account of me. But I didn't survive by being indecisive. Through every age and era, Drifter's done what he had to. The Warlords and the Iron Lords taught me that the light is no gift. It brought hell to Earth. And when we begged to die, it said hell no. They say the Dark Age was untold suffering. I could tell you a lot. Yeah, maybe next time. Go find the other tapes. I made you tapes. <laughs>
Dark Age was different times. We had no city. Warlords and Iron Lords tore up the whole world trying to prove who was better. What was worth fighting for. I was busy trying not to starve. You ever go hungry till you're keeled over? We did that a lot in the Dark Age. Our ghosts would bring us back. Still hungry. Really pissed me off. There's one time I found a village to hide out in. A bunch of huts, really. Good people. They gave me work, and I kept my light a secret while I performed some minor miracles. Then the Iron Lords rolled into town. My ghosts stayed out of sight, and they were none the wiser. They cut a deal with us as if we had a choice. They paid us to let them hide out till some warlords showed up, then ambushed them. But we all got caught in the crossfire. My neighbor's kid told me something that still bounces around my head to this day. Right before the light went out in her tiny eyes, she whispered, I can't feel anything. Yeah. I couldn't either. That's all I got. Cut the tape. Hey, kid, it's me, the Drifter. And this is How to Drift, part three. Never trust your ghost. He's a tool, a connection to the light, not a friend, not in any way that counts. You think he's saving your hide, bringing you back? He's saving his own. I don't care what your guardian dogma says. I don't care what your little buddy has told you. We don't know what ghosts are. They sound friendly, right? But I met some ghosts in the Dark Age. Would kill you for a blue ingram and spit on your grave. All so they could grow their light a little more. Make a stronger connection to the Traveler. Whatever the hell that means. You're an idiot if you think those ghosts aren't still around. Take mine, for example. Really creeps me out. Cut the tape, ghost, and don't give me that look. You know where we stand.
you need to know about the shadows of Yor. They follow the edicts of a very bad man named Dredgen Yor. And what are his shadows after? Everything the light can't provide. I thought they could help me find an answer to the battles of light versus light that raged during the Dark Age. But the longer I flew with them, the more I saw, they're blind as all those who follow the Traveler. One albatross for another. I was done with them. And that title I gave out, Dredgen? I did it to piss them off. Draw the shadows out where I could see them. Worked like a charm. I love all you little guardians. You're so forthright, so eager to please. That make you angry? Good. Use it. I'm reading a skiff with glimmer mining equipment aboard, Guardian. Interested? You can't be the Drifter's partner and not know about Shin Malfa. We'll teach them not to dig around here. I have full confidence in you. The man with the golden gun is still out there. He's a hero. The stuff of legend. Naturally, he's after my ghost. He wouldn't be the first. But everyone and their grandma has a malfeasance hand cannon by now. I think we're okay if Mr. Malfa ever shows his face. He follows the light like a zealot. And he ends all those who would consort with the dark because of one man who went rogue. Do they still think they can outrun us? It's not his golden gun you should be afraid of, kid. It's his idea that one man can decide he makes the rules and when you cross him, he can take everything from you. Doesn't sit right with me. Never will. kind of the vanguard to let me sleep in the annex. Doesn't get cold down there. Much. Do I trust them for it? 
Hell no. They're getting people killed just like the Iron Lords. Yes, people. Like you and me. Just because we got the light doesn't mean we ever stop being that. Don't let them tell you otherwise. And that mission statement of theirs? Protecting the city? Yeah. Humanity's done, kid. You can't save them. Even if you could wrap a ward of dawn around this whole town, they'd start dying all on their own. Every single one you save becomes just a memory. I don't need any more of those. You'll get there. You'll see. Thought the city had made you all soft. But there's this hardliner, a warlock named Anor. Pretty sure she's trying to kill me. She crashed a handoff between me and the shadows of yore in Midtown. My uh, buddies took a hostage and she took out a city block getting them back. Some people didn't make it out. <laughs> How's that for hypocrisy? She jumped the shark on that one. I would have talked them down. No one had to get hurt. I hope the Vanguard are happy. I heard word from hunter dens across the city. This Anor has been building a crew to look into me in the shadows. Bunch of clowns. One of them is this Guardian, a hero of the Red War. Just like you. One of Cade's friends. Just like you. A Gambit regular. Except they're a snitch. Have been all this time. I don't mind. As long as they keep bringing moats, we're square. You watch your back out there, partner. Your friends might not be what they seem. part of my little seminar <laughs> you caught me without much else to say already talked your ear off but I guess there is one thing I want you to know that you're the closest thing to a wheel horse I've had in oh a thousand years I can see you making that face like you just swallowed some scorn blood wheel horse is an expression kid it's Dark Age, or we're tight. That's what you kids say, right? So here's something I never had the chance to tell anyone else on account of they're dead or trying to kill me. Don't give in to hope. That gets you killed. Take every day as it is. Trade your jump ship for a long-range hauler and see the universe while you can. 
I want the best for you, kid. And you won't find that in this system. Speaking of which, the collapse wasn't the last extinction level event to hit humanity. Old Drift has seen another one coming. Everything I'm building in the Nine Realms is preparation. There's a few seeds I'm saving. One of them is for you. If you want it. So there you have it, Snitch. Not gonna hide what I've done, but I'm not bragging either. Just trying to stay alive the best way I know how. You go tell your heroes. Hope they got the dirt they were looking for. Just know that there's too much at stake. You ain't stopping me. Many have tried. They're, uh... Well, they're dead now. It's easy math, Guardian. You got the silver, Eververse has the gun. Thank <laughs> you. 